Welcome to the Avenue de Champs-Élysées, once described as the most beautiful avenue in the world and probably the most famous too. You might think of the Champs-Élysées as crowded, touristy and full of traffic. Now that may be true, but times are changing. The city plans to turn the street into an extraordinary garden, reducing traffic by half and tackling air pollution. But for now, let's find out more about this famous street. The origins of the Champs-Élysées go all the way back to the famous French king Louis XIV and his desire to build an extension to the beautiful Tuileries Gardens here at the eastern tip of the avenue. The Tuileries are a highlight in themselves with the incredible Orangerie Museum, home to Monet's famous water lilies. The Grand Cours, as it was known back in the 17th century, was renamed the Champs-Élysées or the Elysian Fields, which might actually have been a joke as back then it was swampy marshland. To begin your stroll of the Champs-Élysées, start here in the Place de la Concorde. It's the second largest square in the country, and during the terror of the French Revolution, over 1,200 people were guillotined here, including Marie Antoinette and Maximilien Robespierre. There are two extraordinary fountains on either side, one representing the sea and the other representing rivers. It's impossible not to notice the jewel in the square, the 23 meters high, 3,000-year-old Egyptian obelisk. It was discovered in Luxor in Egypt in exchange for a mechanical clock. While the dazzling golden-tipped obelisk takes pride in place here in the square, that clock was broken on arrival and never got fixed. As you walk west, you'll find a park with monuments, statues and plenty of little quiet places. With the Anvalie to the south, you can come here to the Petit Palais, a magnificent art museum built for the 1900 World's Fair. The Champs-Élysées is famous for its shopping and almost every brand you can think of has an outlet here. It's the most prestigious place that a company could have one. And that's part of the reason there's almost no residential property here. The rents are astronomical. Some of France's most important celebrations happen right here on this street. Every year it's home to the world famous Bastille Day Parade on the 14th of July. And it was here that millions of French men and women celebrated Les Bleus triumph in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. It's also the final stop in the cycling championship known all over the world, the Tour de France. When you finally reach the end, you reach the star of the Champs-Élysées, l'Arc de Triomphe. It was commissioned in 1806 by Napoleon Bonaparte, the great general, to celebrate his military victories. This incredible monument is full of symbolism, from the 12 different avenues that emanate from the roundabout it sits on, all the way up to the French generals and victories from the Napoleonic Wars honored on the structure. You can pass right underneath and enter the museum to get right up close and also to see the tomb of the unknown soldier. Thanks for watching. Please check out our other videos here. If you're coming to Paris and want to find out more about the French capital's rich history and culture, why not take a tour with us? Visit www.rivierabarcrawltours.com and join us.